Welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. So on today's video, I'm just going to give you a quick update on my DNC procedure and what happened after I went to the doctor. So after I went to the doctor uh, to do my checkup on my DNC, I was told that I had a lot of bleeding, that the doctor had to remove fibroids, um, I had polyps and that he did see some cysts that he had to take out. Um, the procedure, like I said in the other video, um, it wasn't painful. I don't remember the actual procedure because I was under, um, but afterward I was scared. Um, I was scared because they did the biopsy to determine whether I had endometrium cancer. and. It wait, I waited two weeks to go back to the doctor and those two weeks felt like pure torture. But at the end of those two weeks, the doctor told me that I do not have cancer and so I am very thankful for that. Um, however, he told me that I did um, have some issues that we need to address. Um, so they did some blood work on me and they've determined that I am insulin resistant. Um, so he has started me on metformin. So I'm going to start a series about metformin and trying to lose weight um, so that you guys can follow me on that journey if you are having difficulty with PCOS and losing weight because I know I am. Um, I was terrified that I had cancer, but we were also trying to figure out why I have been doing this keto lifestyle, um, why I have been working out so hard and I have lost about five pounds. I've lost and gained the same five pounds uh, for the past maybe nine months and it was so frustrating, but this was the reason why. So he started me on metformin. Uh, I started that I think two weeks ago. Uh, no, one week ago, Friday. I'm on 500 milligrams. I take it one a day. Um, and he will gradually increase the dosage once he realizes I can tolerate that. Um, now, for the treatment of the thickened um, lining, he is recommending that I get an IUD and he wants me to come in after my first cycle. So, remember in the last video, I told you that based on my research, it takes about two months for people to get their cycles and I told you I'm not normal right so I got my cycle probably the week after I had the procedure um and I I told the doctor this and he was like well you know you bleed a lot you bleed very heavily so um I'm not surprised that that happened to you well <clears throat> it happened again so um Friday, which was two days ago, because I'm making this video on a Sunday, but two days ago, I got my cycle again. And it just came out of nowhere. It's not in the same time period that it usually came, but it's it's close because it was at the end of the month. Um, and it came out of nowhere, and I was surprised, and I was scared. Um, it, the bleeding just, you know, it was just a little bit of blood and it happened again after intercourse so I, I was frightened and my husband had to come in and console me and tell me it's okay the doctor just told you you didn't have cancer it's it's okay um, and it I, in my mind I was like I shouldn't be bleeding now um, after sex because this is what I just went to the doctor for and if that didn't clear it up then something is wrong with me right um, but he reminded me, you haven't had your period this month, so maybe your period is coming on and it's going to be okay. But in my mind, I was like, no, something's wrong. So it was my period, I'm happy to say. Um, sorry, I don't I got teary eyed thinking about it. Um, so it was my period and it came on <laughs> with a vengeance, okay? Um, I, it is heavy. I am surprised that it's heavy like it is because I thought after the procedure that it would be light because that's what other women said. Mine is not. Um, I was wearing a menstrual cup and my cup was like 
not today. I'm not doing this. And my cup gave out on me, so I had to take it out. Um, I think I may need to get a different size cup now after the procedure is done. I don't know if some things in there have changed a bit. Um, so I may need to get a different size cup because my cup was like, yeah, no, I'm done. Um, but I'll get the IUD. They told me I had to come in during my cycle. So I'm going to call tomorrow and let them know that I'm on my cycle and see if I can come in and get the IUD. I am nervous about that as well because I've heard some things about, you know, the side effects or whatever. But I was told that um, it really comes down to the person who is uh, inserting the device. And I trust my doctor and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Um, but you guys will see my update on metformin and if I'm able to lose any weight. I've been on it for a week now, um, so I'll do a series on that. So if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share. Um, let me know your experiences with your DNCs and metformin and um, if you're going to be taking this journey with me. And until next time, journey on.